guys, it's Susanna Easdale here. Well, I'm happy to announce that I'm going to be doing a collaboration with Corinne from To Be Loved Treasures by Corinne. Um, we um, have been doing this in the background for quite some time and we've been contacting each other to and fro. Um, we both got this French General um, pattern fabric I've already sort of pre-cut one it's got bonjour and mercy and it's got this on there as well but also it has this so we're going to be um, doing some embroidery with this and um, making this beautiful Hendrix hair so I went to um, everything will be linked in the description below including um, Corinne's channel um, she came up with the idea for the hair and I showed her this so it's sort of like a collaboration between things that we both like so you download the pattern from the she's got a YouTube channel um, Corinne may have shown you it in color I might even see if I can get a color photocopy of this for the next one um, these are these beautiful hairs um, by Leslie Parson and it's actually got its own YouTube um, not YouTube Instagram page where you can put your thing on there and you'll see about you know 200 or whatnot different types of hairs and we thought we'd do this as a collaboration um, for Easter so we've been filming in the background and then this will be done for an Easter project for you guys so um, yeah so you can check out um, Corinne's progress and my progress um, they'll be um, different which is good and when you go onto the Facebook uh, Facebook Instagram page you will also see um, uh, that as well so you get all the instructions it, it actually shows you the bits and pieces on what to do on she actually has a um, a YouTube channel where she shows you how to put this hair together what she does is um, she actually pieces it all and um, then puts it like she puts it together and then puts stuff over the top this is how big this guy is that's his tail <laughs> that's the gusset for his head and I've just used because you need a, like a base for the body and I had leftover bits of from an old um, tablecloth I used all the the designs and everything so and some linen so this is the four leg times four so I'll be cutting it around there this is his body <laughs> he's a big one I can tell you so what she does is she makes him up and then actually sticks fabrics and stuff over the top um, I don't know whether Corinne's going to be doing that method but what I'm going to do is I'll cut it out um, and I'll stitch stuff on and then sew it together and then afterwards I'll also stitch stuff on um, like I think I'm going to sort of put a round little muzzle thing near his face and um, I'll make my own eyes and all that kind of stuff so he's a big boy but he's going to be gorgeous when you see them on Instagram the whole lot um, there's some you know get some ideas from that it shows you um, all different types this is his legs I've run out of that so this is sort of a linen from a vintage linen tablecloth that I had. And then this is his back. I think you only cut one. And then you sew it all together. So there's all these pieces. So I'm just showing you. I think Corinne did the same where she just showed you the fabrics and bits and pieces she's going to use. Um, I've already started I just wanted to check out um, I've already started on the ears and I made them I cut these out with this fabric because um, I made made it I'll show you in a minute anyway and then I've cut out bits and pieces of this this is that fabric I showed you quite some time back that I um, got from an antique shop when they were selling really cheaply and I just thought it's just beautiful I've cut out all bits and pieces you'll see that on the ear um, 
I'll show you through the fabric. It's so pretty. So I'll be using this in between. Um, so that's my main fab fabric base. And then we are both going to be doing um, adding um, doilies and all that kind of stuff. So I found a doily like that. So we're going to be doing um, slow stitch and adding lace and doilies and all that make it a real because it's a real kind of patchwork um, type of hair and we had a look and I don't think I think there was one that was slightly something that we were going to do so oh, it's just gorgeous I thought the colors would be really really nice so you want to um, do this along with this you'll have to go on to Leslie's um, oh, is it eBay no Etsy store and purchase her um, pattern because she designed it and everyone deserves their bit of um, credit in what they're doing so if you want to you can make your own little rabbit from your own design or a pattern that you've got um, and just make it in a smaller version but um, yeah we really like this and then when we, because we're both going on to the, um, the French textile tour with uh, Lisa Maddock. And then we'll probably, when we come back, we're going to be doing the Bonjour and the Merci. Make him, I'm going to make him into cushions. I don't know what Corinne's doing. And we'll use some of the fabric that we actually got from France. because, And then I'll probably put him in my lounge room. So, um, so what I used on my ear... I'll just show you fold this over um, was um, I thought I'm going to utilize some of this as well because I quite liked it and I just thought these bits in there and I was going to make both of them the same oh I got this fabric too which was from that vase I had but it went really well with um, the pinks and everything that was in that so I thought I'm going to utilize some of that so here's the ear and in the ear um, and I'm going to put, she's, she actually puts wire in. Um, she said you definitely need the wire in the ear and if you're not going to put it anywhere else, it'll be, um, you need to probably do it in the hind legs. So I'm just going to stuff the body and not worry about it. I'll put a bit of wire in the hind legs so it'll, it, it tends to hold itself up. Um, so here is, um, I've done it. This is the one I've already done because I wanted to sort of test it out. Um, and I just got wool because it, you can do it really quickly with it. So if you do get this, um, this came out last year. It's sort of in, uh, what are we in now, September? Um, it was September of um, 2022. And you'll be seeing this in, um, you know, March 2023. So you may not be able to get, I can show, I can put the link to, I got mine from my local quilt shop. You can probably have a look, um, French General Fabrics and all that. So you get it from your local quilt shop or you go online. So I had already made this and then Corinne showed me your, hers and she'd used some fabric um to do a second one I thought that's a really good idea because it's it was so much work stitching this <laughs> um, so I used some of the fabric and bits and pieces from this beautiful fabric collection um, see how this it just goes really well with that so um, and then just used wool just DMC quite thick doesn't have to be the thin stranded wool and and then just cut out bits and pieces so i thought all right i liked that so i've cut out bits and pieces so i'm going to plug plug in the iron i'll be i'm still here because i would like to iron that on and i started sewing it and doing it and i'm like oh i better i better film because <laughs> if i don't film so I just did this behind the scenes and I was going to do another one and show you how to do it. But then I changed my mind. So, um, but I can talk you through what I did. I've just got these side bits and I 
you stitch it first um, it's quite fray that's the only thing with this stuff it is can be quite fray and I stitched it and then I got some of the the leaf fabric from here yeah so I used some of these leaf things with leaf fabric on there and I got that which is this I just sort of cut I think I had to cut that out of the, the red one that's why you can see the red in the background um, yeah so and just got bits and pieces of the fabrics that I've got move that out of the way so I've got the other piece of the ear where are we so here he is that's the ear on the other side so I sewed it so that um, on the machine around the outside um, so because I wanted it to be really sort of rough and fluffy on the outside and that gets so um, sewn onto the back of the head so um, just use the crimper the crimping shears to cut out some of the fabric um, and then just did a running stitch around it and then put a button along there a couple of French knots here but I just did you know you, the stab stitch to stitch it on it's going to be quite quite rustic and like a primitive country style I think our mine's coming out so um, I got this and I still need to give it an eye and I was thinking of maybe putting this around the hair's neck as a a collar I think that would be really good um, my hair this is going to be called Hendrika hair because my middle name is Hendrika and Susanna Louisa Hendrika um, so put this onto paper that's why I need the iron and I'm just going to iron that down I'm wondering if I stitch it first I might okay we have got some okay put this over here take this away from the iron and I'll give that a bit of an iron now I think I used this one Use that and this pink and can't remember what green. Um, sort of wonder what green it is. Maybe this green. Here's the. I use this green on the outside or no this one there you go um, I might grab that one out I think that might be the greens I've used yeah. so just give that a bit of an iron a tiny little iron Okay, and the reason why I've gone so close to the edge because I've still got a, I've still got a stitch. Um, see if you're in camera. Here we are. You are still in camera. I might go in a tad. Ooh, no, that way. There we go. Um, and. I can't remember what I just said. Oh my goodness. It's been a day, I can tell you. One of those days. Now, I will... Um, use this. And then I'll... Probably best doing the stitching while the other stuff is not sewn on. Not always easy, you've got to do it on a bit of an angle. Right. I 
I thought I would do some testing testing out with the ears because they're not a small part the next part I'm going to be doing is um, putting cutting out the body and putting the, the head and everything together which if you go into the video which is linked um, she shows you I thought well that way she's the one who makes them we don't have to show you step by step of how we put it together we'll just show you the stitching that we do on it so um, you might as well get the lady who made it to show you I'm just going to do a running stitch I might get a pin so this doesn't move on me I put a bit of um, um, glue on there, one of the fabric glue. So, okay, do this. May even do a couple of crosses. That's always really nice and gives it that real country look. Okay. Oh. I don't mind if they're a little bit skew if oh. adds, adds to the texture and cuteness of it. Ow. This is um it's not wonder feel, it's more of a uh, a crochet um, fabric but I mean thread but the color was really good I'm going beneath okay yeah when I saw that she'd put um, solid fabric she'd sort of done similar a little bit different using some of that embroidery and then made one solid one I'm like oh can I pinch that idea <laughs> she goes yep see I'm even pinching some of Corinne's ideas now okay so this is going to be very cute um I may even do a video of um, how I do some embroidery on that big piece I've got um, some really nice um, you know doilies and all that kind of stuff with embroidery on it but I've got to pick them in colors that are gonna match that so um, I've got this beautiful tablecloth which I think will work really well the colors I'm quite good with it. Okay. Um, you may not see this, but it still needs to be held down. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Um, I think I need a brownie colour as well. Okay. Well. I will turn it off and I'll be back when I've stitched those on um, when it comes time to stitching these down well, I'll be back okay I am back again I've stitched that down now I'm going to place this and that there I'm thinking uh, maybe that there I think that works and then lining that on and then I'm going to I like on here it's got those um, those oh, what are they called I'm lost for words today I tell you um, wheat and I thought rather than putting the wheat in there like I've done there I'm going to actually stitch them because you can do wheat stitch with um 
what's it called the fly stitch that you create so you can do that okay that's looking pretty good and also I did this with that wool to sort of blend that in I wanted to sort of tie it in so it matched everything else in. okay sorry about that that was my son he come in needed something so now I have got a little button that I'm going to put there and then I'll where's my where's my pen I don't want that one I want the the one that um no nope. the one that irons off hang ten there we go yeah so what I'll do is just um along here and maybe going that way too there okay I'll stitch some of those okay so what I've done with this one is I am going to get out maybe that green um, actually while I've got while I've got this pink on that one I've done it in that in this color hmm. Yeah, there you go. Well, I've used this by the looks of it on the leaves on here. I did. Ah. So, well, I'll use this one on the leaves anyway. I'll bring it forward. Hopefully, I'm in. Um, no, not that one. Hmm. Where's the pink cushion? There we go. Okay. So, all I will do is a little bit of a, a stab stitch. Double check, I'm in camera. Yep. So, this first video is sort of a bit of an introduction and a little bit of sewing as well it's so cute I really like it okay we'll start here and then we're going to just do a little bit of a stab stitch and it should hold down because I've used Blizzapix, um, which is the heat and bond. Um, I thought that will help hold it down a little bit too. So, okay. So I don't need to do too much. And then in that brownie colour, which I've got here. I will do some French knots like I did on that one here as well. I'll even do a few more on the other one. It just goes to prove how big this guy is. This is his ears. <laughs> but hairs are pretty big, but it's actually uh, meant to be a doorstop. So... Um, Okay, just some quick stitching. I might just um, maybe stop it once I've done that because you got the idea of what needs to be done. I think if I did the red on the flower, it may um, 
be too dark. So go underneath and just grab some of this because we don't see it underneath there. There we go. Loop. There we go. And then continue to stitch that around. So, like with true slow stitching style, it really doesn't need a great deal. I think I need the other one and gets done rather quickly so when I come to here I'm going to probably do a stem stitch okay now we will take that out what I want to do, do nine. still hold it down. Oh, see, I ironed it off. <laughs> that was clever. Not well, this is why you use um, this pen. Okay, so you got that there and we're going to come from there to there and maybe from there to there. Okay, now what I would like to do, thinking that brown might be nice, do a bit of a stem stitch. Threads everywhere. Ugh, seriously. Actually, before we do that, we probably need to it's a bit light. Uh, I'll see how it looks. We'll do the fly stitch, which gives us a bit of a weight. The way it looks, so we do a Y. Use that line as a bit of a guide on where we want to go. So this is a feather stitch, which I think looks a lot like wheat. Go one way, go the other. Might be a bit too close in colour for you guys, but it does stand out here. Okay, how big is that? And what I might do is I'm going to go back and do a couple of little. I'll do the wheat up until it gets reaches that point and then it'll go down. Then I'm going to just do a couple of little extra offshoots just in between to make it a little bigger so it looks more like wheat. There we go. 
so it's a fly stitch mixed with um, do one up here no feather stitch mixed with straight stitch that one they just go in between the stitches and have it stick it sticking out a little bit further than the actual stitch itself because Oh, I like that and it makes it look a little fuller as well so now we do the brown in the stem I'll bring that up a little closer for you to see there you go like that so you feather stitch and then just straight stitch in between and then I am going to start here at the bottom and do a stem stitch which will give us a bit of a stem for the um Wait. So, oop. I'm going to go underneath the rows, so it's probably not a bad thing I haven't sewn the rows yet. Because I'll go underneath it. Okay. You get the drift. Okay. That's pretty cool. So, what I will do. Yeah, I like that do the same on that side so around that then we're going to get our button so that on there so because I wanted to match this little button down there um, I think and then what I'm going to do is I'll put this the back of it on and stitch around Is that the right way I think so on the machine on that side so it's you normally would you know if you're going to stitch anything and then you would turn it inside out but I want it to be so I'll just stitch around here and then I want it to sort of fray a little bit all the rest I will stitch and then turn the right way around okay well so there are my little ears I think they're really cute so I'll probably do a few more French knots in here and that'll be it so in the next video I'll probably see see the finished of that and then I will probably um, have the bunny um, head and back together and then start laying out um, bits and pieces you know like fabrics and doilies and everything like that um, on how to do that together I think it, for me myself personally I'd rather stitch it while it is flat like that than stitching over the top so okay um, I will catch you in the next video and thank you for watching and I hope you um, join Corinne and I in this um, lovely collaboration for making this gorgeous little hair for Easter okay bye see you in the next one